Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Tuesday morning. Uh, good news. Uh, my bench sold. The bench from my camper van sold on eBay. I got £82 for it. Well, I say I got £82. He's coming tomorrow to collect it in. He's giving me cash. So uh, we will see if he turns up because I'm sure he will. It's eBay. It's a bit better than Facebook, isn't it? But um, I was very pleased with that. So that is going to be out of that conservatory. And we are thinking of putting the old sofa in there for now. Maybe just over the winter. We'll see. And anyway, that's something we need to think about. If not, it's going to go up to the stables and be used at Utalk. Speaking of which, I need to go to work because otherwise I'm going to be late. Lulu is snoring in the bowl. Is you right there, Lulu? There are some jobs in this house that are Pip jobs and Emma jobs. Pink jobs and blue jobs. Right? Pink jobs and blue jobs. Well, that's very sexist now, isn't it? I think I'm more of the blue jobs nowadays. You are, you're doing more of the handyman stuff. I do all of the odd jobs. You are the, the handy now. woman. I'm the handy Yeah, you've taken over. Now you can do it. You, you do it and... Have you seen the start of my kennel? I haven't. I'm going to, but I'm just going to show them the you job that... Yeah. <laughs> Petty. Yeah. So when it comes to dog jobs, on a whole, they are Emma jobs. That is definitely been Emma job. Myself. You I might want another it. tea or coffee before you go in there, Emma. Yeah. Is it the whole bed gone? Mm -hmm. Exploded. It looks like it's had surgery down the middle of it, and then a small snowstorm. Oh look, she's coming. Too fair. It, that, Oh, that's horrible stuff. That's not even so. That's not even. Nope. Fair. I wouldn't put that in a dog bed because that's actually not good for them that's when that happens. My, the bed was like nine quid. Yeah. Out. We're not having anyone add to that. Okay. It's actually not quite as bad as I anticipated, but that is really annoying stuff. Yeah. That's why I said it was a huge job because it wasn't just pick up some fluff and put it in the bin. That's like. Can we make it a joint job? Can you get me a bin back, please? <laughs> Radio. <Rightio. laughs> Emma's building. Again. Looks good, Emma. So, I didn't quite have enough of this battering, the side stuff, to yeah. do all the way along. Okay. But I actually thought it's probably good to have some form of free flow air through there, yeah, so yeah. it's actually not too hot. And I see what you do, you're insulating between. Yeah, so that's good. Here, I've got a thermal liner. Oh, cool, yeah. Um, that's good. And I was going to put a board in the back as well. Yeah. Um, and then just leave that front bit and open. Are you are you thinking there as well? I wasn't thinking. I think because I think normally, as in like, thermal linering. What? <gasps> oh, we what got. Are they I thought that was mine then. That was yours, that was, was it? Mine. That yeah. was yours. Oh, it's because they're all ginger. It's hard to work out That's who's the reason who. Why I'm not allowed in there? Um, yeah, no, cause actually I was sat in there the other day and it's actually really hot. Is it? Um, because also you're underneath the air. Oh, uh, so there's warm air coming from that. Yeah. Um, and so the bulk of the wind, because if you think when the tent kept exploding, taking off, yeah. it kept going back that way. Yeah, so it's pretty sheltered here, isn't yeah. it? Um, it's a good spot for it. So, yeah. And you've got the bed up off the ground, so any water that does come down, is it will run well, under, it won't be on the bed. I was wanting to get the boards so that they come um, off slightly. Yep. So I like it. It looks good. I, I literally, I had big boy toys as well to you. Ooh. Emma was using this. Shush now. Then, yeah, that terrifies me, that sort of thing. I don't like big saws like that. I got. I had a lesson on how to use it first. Uh, but now we have lots of little bits of wood that we can multi-use. Well, I was thinking we could use this to start making um, a bed thing. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, Good idea to put the... Oh, yeah. Watch toes. Oh. Jenga, giant Jenga. There is that. There is that. I, I'm thinking about building things. Okay. We've got lots of these. We can make a little space to go around. Around the bee thing. Yes. Or a little yeah. Thing. Yeah. Because it's actually nice wood as well. It so is it's nice sturdy. wood. And if we attach it to this type of wood. Yep. Then um, we've got a nice little fence. And we've got yeah, we've got a couple of those floating around. There's another yeah, one down there. Have... Speaking of jobs, and whose jobs are whose? I have some jobs to do. My paid jobs. This is what they pay me for. Right. Just a general 
tidy up needed they all clean needed this guy's already told me that if i go and hoover her room at all the clothes on the floor are clean <laughs> so i stick them on her bed so i could do that and then she can put them away when she gets in but just a general i do like my tuesdays because i find it very therapeutic to just sweep dust clean tidy it's a good way to start my week let's start with this section 12 minutes past 12 we have a video meeting in 20 minutes the bathroom has been cleaned the floor through here has been swept and bleached tidied up i've made a start on the front doorstep bringing things in putting things away uh bows kind of trashed it a little bit but i have dusted and mopped in here and then through here there's still stuff everywhere um emma's got bits there that she is dealing with uh that's school clothes for tomorrow so i've left it down here <laughs> dogs at the door uh, I have I have gone round with the cobwebby thing, which is up here because I'm going to take it upstairs with me, and worked my way around with getting rid of big cobwebs, uh, taking some rubbish out, and I've got laundry out here. Hello, Betty. Hi. You've come in now, haven't you? And the other dogs have gone out. I need to put some of this laundry on. These guys have been outside. Emma and I have had a meeting. We've now swapped them for Betty. Betty's outside with Yogi and Chubba. Hello. I've got to go upstairs and clean up there. We had a phone call about an event on the 8th of November at Ascend School. And we had a meeting with a guy that came out last week to see the sheep with his colleague. And he's got some really interesting contacts, which I think we would really benefit from. So we're going to have a couple of meetings. Oh, sorry. Stay. We're going to have a couple of meetings next week by video chat with a couple of different people. I'm really hoping some of our ideas can come to fruition. We've got a lot of little ideas winging around in the background. But for now, we need to focus on generally tidying you guys can stay there if you want you just have to sit there i don't want you piddling on anything you shouldn't be um yeah generally got to put the clothes away tidy up the cobweb hoover clean bathroom let's go and sort harry's room out looks like a small bomb has gone off in here Trousers just strewn. Light's still on. Let's turn that off. Right, let's get back to it. I've done enough sitting at meetings. Now I need to do something a bit more productive with my time. Not that those things weren't productive. They were very productive. Just something more physical with my time. I've given the bathroom a quick clean. I haven't hoovered yet. I've got stuff to take downstairs. Sky's clothes and stuff to go in her room. Uh, I haven't hoovered anywhere up here. Let's go turn that light off as well. But all the clothes have been put away. All of Harry's clothes have been put away. Oh, there's a rice cake on the floor in there. Was he wandering around with his ice rice cakes? It's a bit of a rice cake fiend, that one. I am not going to start any more jobs at this point because it's 10 to 2 and I'm going to need to do the school run in the next 15 minutes. I'm just going to go and sort this bucket of stuff out and then, um, yeah, go do the school run. I was about to go and get Ozzy from school, but that plan has changed slightly because Emma's just had a message from somebody in the village saying, do you own a peacock? It's stopping my dog from going in the garden. It's been in my garden all day and is showing no signs of moving. So I have to either try and catch the peacock from this lady's garden or at least shoo it out of the garden because this is the one that's escaped and has decided to bog off to the local housing estate and cause merry hell. So I've brought the dogs back because Ken will be home soon. Emma's going to go and get Ozzy and I'm going to go and try and retrieve a peacock. Wish me luck.
you are. Right. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't really go to plan. I ended up climbing on top of an oil tank because there's no gas in this village, so it's either electric or oil. Climbed on top of the oil tank because the peacock had flown up onto the shed roof and then it started garden hopping. But one person says they don't mind it in the garden. I don't think the other lady next door minded it in the garden. So I think we need to tell this person that all she needs to do is just go out and shoo it and then her dog should be happy to go out in the garden because it'll just keep garden hopping. Um, but one of the ladies, that we spoke to said that she would try and feed it she'd get some mealworms and stuff and she'll try and feed it and then that way at least it might stay in her garden rather than uh going into the garden that the lady doesn't want it in um but needless to say i did not catch it and i didn't suspect i would do right doorbell that's probably bo going home well it was a very quick transition there from work to the bath basically because the afternoon got very busy we went chasing that peacock then i had to go and pick the kids up from the bus stop and then ozzy was in a foul foul mood because he had fallen asleep and had a little accident bless him so then i had to give him a shower to freshen him up which he wasn't happy about um and then yes it was just a bit of a disaster and then i had to cook dinner so i didn't really pick up the phone from that point onwards also we had a bit of an incident where some rubbish had either blown in or got dropped in the chicken run and one of the ducks the gray one um luna had got it caught around her leg so she was limping and i kind of caught her and it was really tight kind of it had wound round her leg bless her one bit of plastic and it hadn't snapped and it got quite tight like a almost like a tourniquet on her leg um right up at the top where it joins the feathers and so I caught her really easily because she wasn't moving around very easily and I untangled it all and then let her go and she was kind of hop hopping and then pulling herself along on her tummy. She is fine in that she was dabbling for food, she was eating, she was trying to get around. She can hop on one foot and it was slowly starting to weight bear. It was looking puffy, but it was still warm, so it hadn't, I don't think, done any permanent damage. Um, and I did message the vet, and we're just going to see how she does and see what she's like in the morning. But I tried to go out and catch her again a bit later on, and I couldn't. So she's obviously getting around a lot quicker than she was sort of a half hour before when she had got it stuck to her. So that kind of took up most of my late afternoon. What are you doing? <laughs> That kind of took up most of my late afternoon. Um, and then I've come home, put the geese to bed, spent a bit of time with them and had a bath. And it's been lovely. It's a really nice, bubbly, relaxed bath. It's There's something about the evening in autumn when it's, I mean, it's not cold at all out there at the moment, but it gets dark early. You know, it's like half seven, seven o'clock, it's dark. And just that really lovely snuggling down in a warm bubble bath putting some pyjamas on feels good while i'm talking to the camera it has occurred to me because somebody pointed it out there's a lot of new viewers and not everybody knows the circumstance of of the houses and the location and what is my job and what isn't my job so a rundown for those of you that are new to my channel i live at home with my husband lee and my youngest son kenzie our eldest son brendan is 21 and he lives with our with my parents because we only live in a two bedroom house here and he didn't really want to continue at 20, at 20 years old sharing a bunk bed with his brother. So he rents a room with my parents um, at their house. And that's kind of his first step into some independence. And he has been moved out since April of last year. So nearly a year and a half. Um, and he works with Lee, my husband. So he works with his dad. Uh, the second thing you probably might not have known is that I nanny for three days. So I'm nanny stroke housekeeper, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at the job that you see me at. When you see me cleaning the other house and you see me doing things with Emma, I am nanny. 
to the children and I'm a housekeeper doing the housework and that kind of stuff. The confusing thing is Emma and I set up our own business as well at the end of last year, which we launched in April of this year. And so that's where it's confusing because the sheep side of things is mine and Emma's separate business that we have set up. And that is our you talk business. And so there's lots of different fingers in pies and a lot of it overlaps in that sometimes I'm doing my nanny job, but I'm up the stables because I've done the cleaning or whatever, or we've got meetings. And so that's quite fluid. As long as I get what needs to be done, done. And as long as the kids are looked after, then the rest of the stuff we work around. We just we just make it work. Emma and I just make it work. Um, and Rob is Emma's husband. And you probably don't see a lot of him in the videos. You see him occasionally, often on a tractor driving past. But there are certain times of the year, like now, when he's living off four hours sleep. So at the moment, he's rocking in at one o'clock in the morning. And then he's going to sleep, eating a meal, going to sleep, and then back out again by five in the morning. And that is because he's fighting the weather before the weather turns. He's got however many acres of land to drill, which is the seeding. Um, and everything is very time sensitive when it comes to farming. So, yeah, sometimes he's around and sometimes he's not. And then when we hit winter, he'll be gritting. So, again, he'll be out gritting. And we've just come through harvest. So, you know, it's a really manic time of year for him. In fact, I'm not sure there's not a manic time of year for him. But, yeah, that is kind of the th that's that's the setup. Um, so that's who Emma is. That's my connection to Emma. Uh, we've been friends for quite a while. I've looked after all of her children at some point when I was childminding. So a year and a bit ago, I was childminding and I had childminded for 20 years, I think it was. And I've been in childcare for 25 years because I was a nanny before that. So that is my history for those of you that didn't know that and that are new to the channel. I think I'll stop talking to the camera now because it's been a bit of a waffle for six minutes now and you probably a bored stiff of staring at my face. So thank you very much for watching you lovely lot and I'll see you all tomorrow.